Hello and welcome back to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Maggie. And I'm your other host, Katie. This is our final episode of the year and we've got some incredible stories to celebrate. Today we've got stories about Ithaca's Reggae Fest, the fate of Ithaca Starbucks, Cayuga Healthcare, and more. Ithaca will be celebrating its fifth annual Reggae Fest in Stewart Park, June 23rd and 24th, 2023. Some performers include Scientist, Giant Panda, Gorilla Dub Squad, and Ithaca's very own Double Tiger. Tickets to the Reggae Fest are on sale now, with children under 16 admitted free of charge with a parent or guardian. People under 16 are free too if you can stake them in. Tickets and information can be found at IthacaReggaeFest.com with local tickets available at Ithaca Guitar Works. Bad news for teenage girls, tragedy comes at the most unexpected moment. But this one was pretty expected. All three Ithaca Starbucks locations have officially closed down as of May 26th. The announcement came on May 5th, shocking Starbucks employees and giving them three weeks to find other options. Announcements of the closures reached workers by managers or unknown phone calls with no callback number. Baristas and union leaders alike believe this is a retaliation act against the union by Starbucks. Stephanie Heslop, a barista at the Ithaca Commons location, says that, quote, Starbucks' strategy all along has been to punish union supporters and stores that unionize and reward stores that aren't unions. End quote. Good news for anti-maskers, as Kiyuga Healthcare has announced that masks are no longer mandatory in their buildings. The decision was made due to reduced COVID community and transmission rates. Employees will still continue to wear N95 masks when caring for patients who may be or are COVID positive. Kiyuga Health will continue to monitor COVID transmission rates and adjust the policy if needed. I always wear my mask anyway. In other news, one person drowned in another hospitalized in Taganic Falls this past Wednesday. State police identified Leo and Alaska Cruz in Syracuse as the man who was found deceased in the water upon arrival. The other person, who was not identified, is in stable condition after being taken by helicopter to Upstate University Hospital for hypothermia and water ingestion. A press release from the Trumansburg Fire Department urged people to remain safe as the weather warms and swimming in local gorges becomes more popular despite restrictions and safety issues. A former Tompkins County deputy was arrested for perjury this Tuesday. Deputy Zachary Starner was convicted of providing false sworn testimony in connection with a criminal trial in Tompkins County Court in 2019. Sheriff Derek Osborne terminated Starner's employment immediately after the guilty verdict. The conviction came after a trial jury, which resulted in him being found guilty. Judge Richard Wallace imposed a sentence of 60 days in jail, followed by three years of probation onto Starner. The IPD is searching for a missing person, Ithaca resident Thomas Rath, who was reported to have last seen in the homeless encampment is known as the Jungle around May 17th. Rath is described as po by police as 6 feet tall and weighing about 140 pounds and having several tattoos. He was reported last being seen wearing a black hoodie and jeans and carrying a blue bag. Police are requesting that anyone that can provide any confirmation contact the department. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. And have a great week. See you next year. Oh my gosh, she's a fade. Oh my god, I can see me. Stop closing the window. What the frick? No, I don't want to hear a joke about Jeff. Could you shut up? Thanks. That was. Wait, why are they turning off all the lights? Is, is that supposed to be like an effect? Like, oh, we're closing it's down for the year. And he's 140 pounds.